What's up, family? Straight out the gate, there will be those who are going to hate me for what I'm about to say. But in the name of love and humanity, I'll take my chances. I came across this rap video of a guy talking about how men need to be more in touch with their feelings. An excerpt from the rap said something along the lines of, it's crazy because they say men ain't supposed to have no feelings, but F that I'm in my feelings. And that were like a large percentage of people, especially men saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got feelings too. Yeah, men got feelings. It's okay. Men got feelings. And, you know, that's what's wrong. We don't express ourselves enough. I think that men are expressing themselves way too much in terms of emotions. That's right. I said it. Let me explain something to you, fam. Let me put this disclaimer out there. I am not a clinical psychologist. I am not a therapist. I'm no life coach or counselor. But what I am is a man with a particular set of experiences as a man that have helped me and guided me through this wild, crazy, beautiful world for 56 years. I've witnessed the death of my mother, my father, all of my grandparents, and I'm talking about a very young age. My mom died when she was 45, my dad died when he was 52. Two of my grandmothers never, well, two of my grandparents never saw 60. The oldest that any of my grandparents were was 65 when they died. So I experienced death at an early age from people that are very close to me. Several best friends, oh, let me back up. Several good friends, really good friends, died when I was a teenager or in my early 20s. One of my best friends, childhood friends, was murdered when I was like 22, 23. I've been rich, I've been poor. I've been loved, I've had my, I've loved, I've had my heart broken. I've broken some hearts. I've experienced near death situations. I've saved some lives. I've been through the gamut and I'm still standing. And with all of my right senses, if I would have had the attitude that Everything is a crisis and I need to get emotional about everything in my life. I would not have survived. I think it's important that we have, we're having these discussions about mental health because there are situations where men need help. They need to have a conversation and talk through their trauma. I get that. But some of these dudes, many of these new dudes, they're overdoing it. It's like somebody said, hey, it's okay for men to cry. And these niggas just, yeah, 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 every damn time. Yeah, 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 all on TV. Yeah, you know, you just crying. Even the guys who work in television, just crying all the damn time. Fair. I don't subscribe to the, the idea that men are strong, women are weak. I believe in sensuality and feminism in regards to women. 
It has nothing to do with weakness. I don't play on women's insecurities and anxiety that they need a strong man, that they're weak and they need a strong man to be by their side. I don't play on that. I don't believe in that. I don't think that men are supposed to be domineering. I don't think that men are supposed to be um, overly aggressive. Aggressive, yeah. You know, competitive, yes, absolutely. But I don't believe in that domineering thing. I don't believe in that control thing. I don't believe in trying to control a woman at all. I believe in letting a woman do what she wants to do. And if a woman wants to do something for you, she's going to do it. If a woman wants to do right by you, she's going to do it. You ain't got to try to make her do it. She's going to do it automatically because she understands the rewards that come with that. A lot of these dudes, they're soft. That's right, I said it. They are soft. Because of the music they listen to, because they smoke too much weed and drink too damn much alcohol and popping pills, they're not in their right minds. What they need is to detox. That's right. They need to detox. A lot of these cats are using excuses as to why they will not man up. Manning up does not mean ignoring your mental health. If you got a problem, yeah, okay, cool, let's solve that. But let's get back to this man thing after we solve that. A lot of these people out here in this mental health space, they are taking advantage of people. I'm not saying the ones who are not. Now let's let's make I gotta make sure I'm clear on this because sometimes people have cognitive dissonance and they just hear whatever they want to hear. I know that there is a space for mental health and mental health workers. We need y'all. But there are some out there who take advantage of people and misdiagnose people. I don't know if there's ever been a time where I know someone who has went to one of these doctors and they didn't prescribe them something. Like sometimes it ain't a prescription. The pre sometimes the prescription is not medicine. Sometimes the prescription is attitude. It's how you process situations and circumstances. I look at life like this. There are going to be good times and bad times. And bad times are always right around the corner. So when I'm happy, when things are good, I enjoy it, I embrace it, and I love it. And so when things happen bad, I don't panic. I know in my mind things are supposed to happen bad. Bad things are supposed to happen. So when bad things happen, I don't freak out. If I have a death in the family, I'm going to feel the loss. I'll process it. And then I keep it moving. If I'm in a relationship with a woman I really love, I'm really digging. She want to cut me off. Like any human being, I'm hurt. I feel it. But I get through it. I deal with it. And then I keep it moving because there are no guarantees in the game of love. Some people or in relationships when somebody don't want to mess with them anymore, they ready to kill everything. Oh, my whole world. They didn't put their whole world inside of this person. You do not put your world inside of a person. You got to be care about yourself more than you care about anybody first. You can't care for somebody else before you care for yourself. That's why when you ride planes, they tell you in the event that we have an emergency. You put the mask on yourself first before you assist others. Some of y'all out here walking around putting masks on other people or waiting on somebody to give you a mask. So I'm not with this soft ass dude shit, this soft man stuff. I'm not with that shit. That's why we're in the situation we are in. 
Dudes are in these situations and they're arguing like women. They're in relationships arguing like women. I see dude mm, talking like this. And talking like a woman would talk when they argue with a woman, calling a woman B's and, and H's and, you know, women argue like that. That's how women talk. You know what I'm saying? They be arguing like arguing like that. I was seeing dudes just really dramatic, melodramatic. There is a clear distinction in the way men and women are supposed to behave. And because the lines are crossed, they're blurred, people don't, people, there's an identity crisis. People don't know what the hell they are now. Everybody want to be everything they even want to be. And everybody that, the women who want to act like men are having major issues and don't know why, they think, well, they always think it's somebody else's fault. Men who want to act like women having major issues, they don't know why. They think it's somebody else's fault. They always think it's the other gender's fault that they're having problems. Or it's anybody's fault but theirs. There is a clear distinction between men and women. Who out here building these bridges? Who building these schools and high rises? Who are building the roads? Who's out here building these airplanes? And even we'll go as far as saying who's building the bombs? Who's building the military equipment? Men. Who intrinsically does a better job in nourishing let me tell you something fam been there for my kids the whole way ain't miss one birthday one celebration one recital unlike Akon ain't miss one recital one basketball game not one not one birthday celebration. I ain't miss nothing. However, because I do that, when I do it, I remember those dates and I'm in tune with those dates, but their mother is there and she, she she's in tune with those dates and she's going through the preparation part of it the whole way. She talks to them a whole two weeks in advance, pepping, you know, pepping them, giving them pep talks and stuff like that. That's the nurturing part. Making sure that they got their outfit. Making sure that they then went over uh, what it is they're supposed to say or do, you know? And yeah, and I, I'm there for whatever support. I'm like really there more so like trying to see if there's, if there's a problem. I step right in like Superman, dun, 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 say the day like that. But mama be on it, man. It's a different thing, man. Y'all don't understand what I'm talking about. It's a different thing when it comes to that nurturing thing with women. They got it. They got something we just don't have, and that's okay. We're supposed to be different. We're not supposed to be have everything. We're not supposed to be able to do everything well. Women do some things well, better than men, and men do some things better than women. And I think it's okay for all of us to embrace our natural roles the reason why things are so unaligned is because everybody wants to be something they're not. All of this stuff about getting into your feelings. No, get out your feelings. You can have feelings, absolutely. I don't think it's a problem with a man crying. But if a man waking up crying every damn day, Man, get out of here with all that shit. Suck it up, buttercup. Yeah, I said it. Suck it up, buttercup. Go get you some help. But don't be trying to act like you out here and you gonna, you know, 
you just get all the benefits of manhood and then you still gonna be out here getting all emotional every day. Nah, man, go get you some help and come on back into the kingdom. No more talk. <laughs>